it's Pete here and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament uh, which is an 8 board BBO tournament that you play by going solitaire bridge then weekly free. So this week I wanted to try and emphasize hand visualization and it's, it's what I use before I try and set the final contract. So instead of thinking oh my partner might have six points or nine points what I like to do is think about precisely what cards I want them to have and if I can come up with a really nice minimum hand that can make the contract um, then I should bid there. Whereas if I'm hoping for something really optimistic, then probably not. Uh, hopefully I'll get some good examples this time, but uh, we'll jump straight in and see what we can actually do. So we've got 14, 15 points, so one no trump. Two clubs, single suited, transfer. Do I bid four spades or three spades? I guess I'll just bid three spades, super accept. Four spades, okay. Maybe four spades is a good, let's see what partner comes down with. We have four losers. So, good news, uh, we might not be making this contract. Well, like we might, no, we will be making our contract. We might not be making four. Uh, my plan is to trump a heart and trump a club, lose two diamonds, a club and a spade. Um, one spade loser, one heart loser, which I can rough eventually. Two club losers, lose one, trump one. Two diamond losers, lose them both. So, nine tricks. So, I'm just going to win. And it doesn't matter if trumps are 3 0, I can still do all the trumping I need. If they didn't get their club in time, I might have been able to take a heart finesse, then dump the. Uh, club loser, but um, not on a club lead. Okay, um, may as well see if they just uh, duck the ace, king, and diamonds. Didn't happen, but uh, may as well try it. Uh, no harm there, but uh, probably... Well, not a really flat board, but nine tricks is very normal. 57%. I thought more people might be in four spades. No one's in four spades. One spade, two clubs, two spades from partner. What a soft bid. I totally thought it'd be four spades. No wonder I wasn't getting as good a score as I thought, but uh, everyone's making nine tricks. No one, and I mean no one's in four spades. Find that one kind of remarkable. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number two. Uh, this time we've got a 22 highs and a five card suit, so 23 points. So I'll open two clubs, rebid two no trumps, showing a balanced hand. So at this stage, I haven't been um, able to be the one that's setting the final contract. It's basically always my partner. So hand visualization really comes in uh, when you're setting the final contract. In all these spots, I've just been answering questions and leaving it up to my partner. So I opened two clubs and showed 23, 22 to 24 balanced. And here we are. We have three spade winners, four clubs is seven, and a diamond is eight. If clubs come in, that's my ninth. I could take a diamond finesse as well. I'm trying to work out what we know about the hands. Like, if clubs come in, I still might want to take the diamond finesse anyway. Um, so east is a past hand, west led the jack of spades, 22 highs opposite my 5, so 27, 13 missing, doesn't really give me much. Um, do I want to do anything special like spade, spade, like cash three rounds of spades and then take a diamond finesse anyway? If it loses, they might like cash a spade and then, um... I don't really want all my, to take all my discards, so... Yeah, I'll run the clubs first. I, I was thinking, like, if the finesse loses, they still might not know what to actually do. Um, because the clubs were the weakest suit. All right. Clubs came in. They broke 4-2, and we got a spade discard there. And a heart. Diamond. So West has thrown one of each suit... East has just thrown a diamond. I think West probably has a five card spade suit. So let's just see. 
uh, what's happening here. Yeah, there's the five card spade suit. They've still got one spade winner there. Um, East has now thrown one diamond and one heart. So West has five spades to the jack ten and doubleton club, so they had six red cards. They've thrown one diamond and one heart. East has... Like, should I take the diamond finesse is my real question. Dummy had four, I had three. West has thrown a diamond, East has thrown a diamond. If diamonds are 3-3 three, three, and I lead a diamond to the queen and it loses... Hmm. Do I, like, so at teams you just play a diamond to the ace and be happy with it. Uh, at match points it's kind of interesting of do I take the diamond finesse or not. East does have more red cards. East had uh, two spades and four clubs. West had five spades and two clubs. So East had more red cards so they're slightly more likely to have uh, the diamond on her. If I play a heart up, um, how many hearts are missing? So, uh, dummy had three hearts, so we had six hearts between us. They've both thrown one, so there were seven missing. Um, I don't know. It's tough to say whether I should actually finesse here or not. I'm going to finesse. I think I'll probably get the diamond trick back anyway, even if it works. Like, even if it... Even if it failed, I think there's a chance that I might have uh, got an extra trick anyway. Seventy-five percent. Like, sometimes when I finesse the diamond and it loses, they still have to play a diamond anyway. It was, was overall my general reasoning there. And match points, I went for it. Twenty-one percent if you don't. 75% if you do. At match points, it's perfectly okay to try and uh, risk your contract just a little bit. And East had more red cards. That's <laughs> basically what I was going on. So it seemed slightly better than 50%, so why not do it? And then sometimes West has to return a diamond anyway. Um, they, they can pretty much always organize to like discard them all, but sometimes not. Uh, 10... Ah, moving on to hand number three. This time we've got 21 highs. So do I want to open two clubs or open one spade? I'm thinking just one spade. Like, I need my partner to have, like... For me to make game, I need my partner to have, like, king of spades and queen of clubs or something. Like, I've got a bunch of losers here. If partner can't respond to a spade, I don't think I'm making game. So even though I've got 21 points, uh, that's all right, so... One spade, two diamonds plus three diamonds, double plus three spades. Do I try four spades anyway? Uh, my partner couldn't respond. My king of diamonds seems worthless. I've shown um, 16 to 22 total points. So I've obviously top end of that range. So this is where hand visualization comes in. You don't just think I've got 21 points, I should definitely be bidding. What hand do I actually want partner to have? So there's two hand types that they could have here. Either a hand that has like a doubleton spade and no clear bid. So like two, three, four, four, for instance. And didn't want to bid. Or the other one, which is probably more likely, is they've got three spades, but they have like zero to five points. So they didn't want to bid two spades. So... If I can come up with like a three or a four count where I think four spades is a good bid, I think I should bid it. If not, I reckon I should just uh, take the low road and defend, uh, like declare three spades. So for instance, I got two club losers, a diamond loser, two hearts and a spade that I have to deal with, which is six losers. So if my partner say got a doubleton club, so let's give them three spades three hearts 
I, I'm not really coming up with a hand that has a doubleton club very often. So instead, let's try and give them some points, which will uh, fix it. Let's give them like queen to five clubs and the queen of hearts. So 10 third spade, queen of hearts, queen to five clubs. So if that's the case, I have a diamond loser. I have two heart losers. I might be able to throw one away um, on the club. And I have a spade loser. But even on that like really nice four count, which I'm expecting for the hand, I still have a diamond, two hearts, and a spade. So there's still no guarantee to make. So I think I should pass. But there is some chance I can uh, make here. Okay, yeah, so partner has a one count. With a Dalton Club. I said it was hard to come up with one. There's the Dalton Club right there. So again, partner's got a one count, which game looks like it has some play. We've got two heart losers, two club losers, a diamond and a spade. I can trump both my clubs after drawing trumps if they're 2-2. Two, two. And I lose both my hearts, and I need a spade finesse. I'm pretty happy here in uh, three spades. Obviously, whenever I started, if I started considering hands that had... Uh, four card support, there's definitely a lot more of those. Um, there's no way that they'd be under leading the Queen of Diamonds there. But uh, I don't see any reason in not trying it, so... It's all rough, and now just Ace of Clubs, King of Clubs, and a Club Rough. Probably could have afforded to rough that high, but the Queen of Clubs, I basically just believed them. And I <laughs> really didn't need to lead the Nine of Spades there. Okay, 4 nil. Okay, so they have King, 10, 7, and a small card. So they've still got King, 7, small. So club, and we can trump that. Uh, if I rough the diamond, so if I take the spade finesse now, I can go ace of hearts, heart, but I have both lines work. So we'll just uh, do that, and then just ace of hearts, and give up a heart, and my ace five will finesse his king in the ending, or, or not, just now. Ninety-two percent for three spades plus one when my partner has a one count. Uh, lots of people in four spades. Not everyone made nine tricks. So let's just have a quick look at the people that ace of diamonds, diamonds. Okay, ace of spades. So I definitely like playing ace of clubs, king of clubs, and taking the uh, finesse. Let's have a quick look at someone who went down here. Okay, so everyone's catching the Ace of Spades rather than using the uh, club entry there. Um, when you're in four, that's basically just giving up, so I don't like that at all. Um, four Spades, I think, is colds. Oh no, they can hold you to nine, so. But I was thinking I can always rough my two clubs. Like, my only obvious losers are two hearts and a diamond. Uh, but it, as I was, I managed to short my trumps so that they had to rough their heart winner. Okay. Or something approaching that. Pass, pass a heart. But yeah, so anyway, that was an illustration of hand visualization. I think it's really important to think what you expect to come down in dummy and do you want to be there. I was very happy when I saw dummy not actually being in it. Pass, pass a heart. So here we've got 18 highs. Balanced hand. I've got two options. I could either make a take out double or bid one no trump. Both are fine. Um, I'm going to lean towards a take out double. Like a saying uh, Mike Ware from uh, New Zealand says, it's ace doubleton isn't a stopper. Now it's obviously going to stop the suit, but what it really means is it limits your ability to hold up the suit. So if hearts are 5-3, I can't hold it up. So I'd prefer my partner to be playing it if they've got it. So I'm just going to make a couple of take out doubles here. And I, I should have, again, done hand visualization. 
But uh, in general, I've shown my hand twice. Uh, well, not twice. I've shown my hand by doubling and then doubling again. So, looks like I got three spade losers, a heart loser, and a couple of club losers. Um, they're going to be making at least two hearts. We've got two diamond tricks, a heart is three. Maybe a spade, maybe a club, but they're definitely making 110. So going one down in two, three diamonds is okay. Going two down will be a bad score, unless people are bidding and making four hearts, which seems pretty unlikely. But hopefully the ace-king of spades are on side, and I can get there via, well, at some point, and just lead a... Okay, nope, they're leading it up for me. Okay, they might get a club rough. Okay. So we're going down two here. So they found their rough. I could have maybe false guarded in, in clubs. Um, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Uh, but down two. 35%. Ouch. So everyone in three diamonds is down two. Some people just doubled once and then passed, which I think is a ridiculously passive uh, option. Uh, one no trump, then two no trump is a really bad option. If you're going to bid one no trump, you may as well follow it up with a takeout double. Um, such as this, which pushed them up to three hearts. So that's like the other decent alternative of how to bid the hand. But um, doubling once and then passing, you haven't shown your hand yet. Your partner could have like five points and still not want to bid. Um, because that, like, if your partner bids, you're going to play in game. So there's that healthy balance between where they want to bid and, and not bid. Anyway, uh, still running at 65% in rank equal first. Um, moving on to board number five. So here we have 10, 14 highs. So I'm just going to start with one spade. Do I bid two spades? I think two spades is okay. West is double showing hearts. East has the minors. My partner's got hearts as well. But I got a pretty decent hand. I could pass here. Three clubs. Okay, so they're in a 4 4 fit. My partner's got like probably 10 cards in the red suits or just a really weak hand. Um, hmm. So I could start with spades. That seems very natural way to actually be uh, defending this hand. I could consider ace of hearts and trying to get roughs, but I can't get my partner in on lead to do that. I could try and lead trumps to try and stop them cross roughing. That feels like quite a poor idea. But West does have hearts and uh, hearts and clubs. East has diamonds and clubs. I got long trumps. I'm going to try and start a forcing defense. And there might be some chance I could give my partner a. Uh, a rough. Although this king of spades might get trumped, but um, could go ace of hearts and a spade. My partner's going to get over roughed if they do. I don't think I need to get rid of my ace of hearts yet. Okay, and they threw a heart away. Okay, so they've only got four clubs, so they might still have six diamonds. And that might have been a singleton heart. No, doubleton heart. Okay, so at this stage, they have two hearts, two spades, four clubs, and five diamonds. So I, I know their entire shape, realistically, um, unless they happen to be a balanced hand. Um that just didn't want to bid one no trump over the takeout double. I could give them a rough and discard. Um, or I could play a diamond. Leading a trump's a bad idea. East has ace, like four, three, two of clubs effectively. Um, I 
As it seems, maybe playing a... Um... So if I lead a diamond, um, I don't think my partner's got a good diamond on her. So I think playing a spade and giving them a rough and discard is probably the best bet. Because I can't see any tricks. We're not going to get any diamonds or hearts. And... So they're cross roughing and it's going to be awkward for them getting off the table. Um, okay, two down. Okay, 75% there. Uh, someone managed to beat two clubs, two tricks. Four spades, one spade, two spades, three spades. Far too much. One, yeah. Bidding three spades is, like, drastically overbidding this hand. And the opponents are in your club fit. If your partner doesn't want to bid, um, seems like too much. So you can pass two clubs, but that's where the auction ends. Um, we can only beat at one. Just wanted to check, Do I have, am I meant to cash the ace of hearts first, or just continue with a spade? Both of the, both lines actually work, in all honesty there. But uh, seventy five percent, so still at sixty seven percent after five boards. Moving on to moving on to board number six. Uh, twelve, fourteen highs, four, one, five, three. So just one diamond. Um, gonna jump to three spades invite. So sixteen to eighty in total points. You could consider bidding like three hearts, which I think should be an invitational splinter, but the the robots play it as a game forcing splinter, so I can't really do that. So Okay, uh heart lead. So we want to make a plan from my partner's hand. Uh I've got th three heart losers, but probably only two after that lead. They have a club loser, they have a diamond loser. Basically, I want to try and trump uh, one of the hearts. Lose one, win one, trump one. In clubs, see if they break 3-3 three, three or the jack drops. If not, maybe trump one. Might have some residual chances. But it uh, looks like a pretty straightforward hand. Okay, so like I might have extra chances of just trying to trump two diamonds. Like I can throw one diamond away on a heart and maybe trump two. So I could lead like a spade over and lead another diamond up and try and trump it. I think that's probably a bit risky. If trumps are 2-2, two, two, I'm all good. If they're not, then I've still got some chances. They're 2-2, two, two, so we just... Uh, It's going to be hard work not to make 11 tricks, except someone managed it. They jumped all the way to four spades. Their partner kicked on, found out they were off two aces, and then they managed to go down in it. Well, that was generous to give us that extra little 3.6% for a pretty nondescript hand. Moving on to board number seven. Uh, we have a 5 5 12 count. So, gonna start with one spade and just bid two diamonds. Partner might pass it. Okay, they've got an invitational hand. I don't want to accept the invite, I just want to bid three diamonds to play, but it looks like it's forcing. But we might make game anyway. Okay. Not forcing. We would find out something new every time. Although, I would. Wow. Hey. I would definitely be bidding with that hand. If your partner bids one spade, two diamonds, three diamonds. Like, if I had queen jack to five diamonds, an ace queen jack to five spades, a ten count, four spades would just be absolutely lay down. Um, four spades kind of is lay down here with two club losers, probably uh, no spade losers. And probably only one diamond loser. I'd really want to be in four spades. 
Uh, but kind of hard to get there. But partner with these cards should be bidding more. This really comes back to hand visualization. You don't want to think, oh, partner's minimum with 5-5. Five, five. Not interested in game. Look at your hand. Visualize what you actually want. Ace, queen, jack to five spades. Queen, jack to five diamonds is a 5-5-10 five, five, count that is gold. Like, you just want to be in four spades every day of the week with that. I don't have that hand, but I have something similar, and four spades is still good. I have more points, but it's not as perfectly located. But uh, four spades is a fantastic contract, um, which we managed to miss. Anyway, I got two club losers, maybe a spade loser. I want to see what's happening in diamonds. I'll just cash ace king of diamonds. Okay, we have two diamond losers. Okay, my spades are all good. Um, so I'm going to lose two diamonds and two clubs. In four spades, again, I would lose two diamonds and two clubs, but I'd still be happy to be there. Okay, now seeing if I could sneak every one of my clubs through uh, without them, but uh, yeah, there's just uh, nine tricks now. Fifty percent. Some people pass two no trumps, uh, which has five spade winners. A heart and two diamonds, so is cold. So, um, but really, getting to four spades is where you want to be. It goes down on this hand, but one spade, two spades. Okay, that's how they got to there, and then they declined the invite. Half they knew they were in a misfit, I guess. Well, not necessarily. The robots do play three card uh, raises, but. Um, Moving on to board number eight, uh, we are still in equal first with 62%. Pass, pass, a spade to me, and I have 18 highs, three, two, three, five. So this is kind of an awkward hand. Uh, I would like to overcall a no trump, but I don't have a stopper. I could double and bid clubs, but I don't really want to bid my club suit at the three level, so I'm just going to venture two clubs. And again, it's pretty hard to visualize what hand's going to be making game. I need my partner to have like king of spades, queen jack of, like king of spades, queen of clubs, ace of diamonds or something. And they'll, they could consider bidding on that anyway. So two clubs, two hearts. Okay, so we've got, we got some life in partner. Nine to 12 total points. So I want to bid two spades, see if they've got a, a stopper. Three clubs, two to four clubs. All right, so it says my three hearts shows three card heart support, which I really don't think it does. But playing in a five two heart fit could be okay. Um, we could have, partner could have like king jack to five hearts, queen of clubs. Ace of Diamonds. Um, they don't have any cards in spades, so we've got like all the spades suit we're off. So they have to have some points somewhere. I think I'm going to try three hearts. I could bid something like three diamonds. I actually don't have any bid for my hand, which is kind of... Uh, well, I could bid three spades, which still shows it. So I think three hearts is my bid, because I think four hearts is my most likely game contract. Interesting. Um, where are all the spades? Like, West didn't raise, so West doesn't have any points. So, my partner's only got seven points, which... I guess when they know they've got a club fit, it's okay. But, uh, five clubs here... Is... A good contract. So, I really want to make this. Uh, on the top of it, we've got one spade and a bunch of heart losers, but we're going to get sort of forced here. 
Um, I've got 18 high card points opposite 7, so 25. So East has the vast majority of these. So I think I just want to play a heart to the queen. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> King of Hearts was the one card that's offside, obviously. Okay, Doubleton Jack. Alright, so if East has six spades, I'm still okay. So I can play a club to the queen and draw a trump. I need East to have six spades because otherwise I'm in trouble. Uh, so if East has six spades and two hearts, then I've got... Like I'm also trying to work out, can I cash out in such an order? That's okay as well. So if East has six spades, two hearts, I've got maybe two clubs and three diamonds, so I can cash diamonds? Ah, making ten. Um, they did have their six card con uh, spot. Um, Luckily, so even with the heart offside, managed to score 85%. Lots of people in four hearts. Some people in five clubs not making 11 tricks. You have four diamond winners, five club winners, the ace of hearts, you can rough a spade. So all you have to do is trump some spades. If you trump two rounds of spades, then you're okay. So I guess they... Oh, I'm playing by south. It's still fine. Anyway, finished in first in rank one. 65%. Um, I was pretty happy with that. And I think the real thing comes down to visualizing the hands. I think it's a really good technique of trying to set the final contract. Not once did I pick the exact hand I thought my partner would have. But I came up with useful hands where I thought that this was a decent spot to actually try and get to. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.